Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So it is, what's today? Friday. It's Friday, guys. And it's uh, like 5.35. And um, we're just going to get dinner going. Um, we went to ShopRite, we got a few things. I didn't do a haul because I'm just exhausted, but I got some... I uh, got some meat. I got, um, what did I get? What meat did we get at ShopRite? Oh, we got a bit, we got a bag of uh, flounder. We got a bag of, um, of salmon that was on sale. They were both on sale. Um, uh, I got a little thing of chopped meat because I had to make Cooper's dinner because I didn't have any chicken done. I saw I just quartered a little, little small pack of chopped meat. He had that with a, with a sweet potato. Um, Frankie's having a London broil that was in the, a small London broil that was in the freezer downstairs. And me and Billy are gonna have um, flounder with asparagus tonight. That's what we're having. But anyway, at ShopRite, I got some vegetables. I got some, um, uh, I got pistachios um, to munch on. Um, what else did I get? I got asparagus, I'll show you. Well, I don't have to show you, but I got mangoes, I got a cantaloupe, um, I got some um, some halo little uh, clementines, um, I got a nice big fat zucchini. Lately, I don't know what it is. I'm really, really like anti-meat. I don't know what's going on. I just meat, really just chicken. I like it, but I don't know. I'm just not crazy about it. So I'm craving like hearty vegetables, like eggplant and zucchini and like I got Brussels sprouts string beans, all that. Um, I didn't get any eggplant, but I, I wanted to get it and I forgot. But um, yeah, so I don't know what's going on with me. But anyway, yeah, that's that's the story. Um, get out of this group. Get out. Get out. Um, so yeah, so... Uh, that's what we're doing. So um, I, I, what I did was these, um, I bought the frozen um, flounder. So I just put them, they're frozen in the bag. So I just put them in water in the sink so they can defrost a little bit. I'm going to um, saute them in a pan with some butter and um, just a little bit of butter and um, some garlic. And that's how I'm going to make them. And like I said, I'm going to do asparagus. I got to get a pot for the asparagus. I'm trying to think what pot I'm gonna get for that. What are you doing, Cooper? Did he eat it all? He loved that. I usually make my asparagus in a frying pan, but you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put this chopped meat in here in a container for Coop for tomorrow, for breakfast for him. He's a Coopy bite. Hey, hi, Coopy. I got mangoes, too. I got mangoes. I got, um, oh, I got lemons in here, zucchini, bananas. Yeah, um, and yesterday when I went shopping, I got apples, and I got cucumbers, and all that. I just have to eat all this stuff. Uh, I'm just craving all that fresh stuff. Why? I don't know. All right, so let's put his chopped meat in a container. And then I'll use this frying pan for the asparagus. I'm just gonna rinse this out quick. Save this for the morning for him. Um, yeah. 
I'm not really bothering washing it. I'm just going to wipe it out. And we're good. Oh, I got to put water in it. We're good to go. Yeah, we had the flounder. I said, uh, to Billy, you you choose the flounder or the um, or the salmon, and he chose the flounder. So I let him choose because sometimes I just can't make a decision. I'm gonna be making some um, some little uh, some little uh, mini cupcakes for Jenny on Sunday. Um, for her to bring home and her, um, yeah, for us. So, just some mini cupcakes. You wanted to buy a little thing in the store, but they were so they were so expensive. Don't judge us, guys. Okay, we can have a little cupcake once in a while. I'm always making a mess. I got these crystal light. Mango, peach, mango, green tea. Oh, so good. And the lemon iced tea. Because I'm into them right now. So. Uh, water. Let's just cut these like this. I tell you, it looks like a lot of asparagus. It really isn't that much. But it's funny for Bill and I. I, um, I actually ordered. When is my seasonings getting here, Bill? Uh, I think tomorrow. I ordered um off of Amazon. I ordered Mrs. I Tuesday. Tuesday. Why so long? They were next day. They were prime. Um, I got Mrs. Dash and I got Danos. I ordered off of Amazon. One's tomorrow, one's Wednesday. Wednesday? This is Dash's Wednesday. Oh my God. Why so long? No idea. So I'm going to wait for these to boil a little bit, you know, simmer a little bit before I put the, um, before I put the salmon, uh, before I put the flounder in. Um, do you want anything else with it? Oh, that's the flounder and the, um, asparagus is good? Uh, yeah, fine. You don't want a baked potato or a... I don't eat baked potatoes. Uh, you eat baked potatoes. I gotta be in the mood. Oh my god, that's his new thing. His new thing now, he's gotta be in the mood for this. Sorry. He's gotta be in the mood for that. But if you ask him, he says he's not he's not difficult. He eats everything. You know I hear you, right? <laughs> uh, Alright, guys, I don't know. I really just don't know. Um, I need to, my refrigerator needs to be straightened up. I don't know if I have the energy tonight to do it. I, I really don't. I wanted to do it today, but we have, we had plans today. What? Do what? Clean out, the, the, take care of the refrigerator, but I think I'm going to do it tomorrow. I got to be out early tomorrow. I got to go to Jenny and to Jenny's house. Jenny has her um, her uh, spring dance tomorrow, um, so I'm going to the group home and I'm going to help her get dressed and do her hair, and uh, and get her ready. So um, I got to be there like around eleven fifteen. Um, so and then I'll come home and do some stuff in this house. I gotta get the refrigerator. I really have to get the refrigerator taken care of. I have to get my back room taken care of. I got well, I got onions and potatoes all mixed together back there. I usually have my onions in one thing and my potatoes in another thing, 
but they're all mixed up, so I gotta get back there and do that. Look, look at what's going on here. There's a ghost in the house, look, look. Look at the garbage, guys. Look at the garbage. Watch, watch. <laughs> the house is possessed. I got this for a gift for um, one of Julie's really good friends who's a sweet, sweet girl. She just had a baby. So sweet, she had a little baby girl. And so I got her this today, I saw this, I said, oh my God, this is so freaking adorable. That uh, hope, wish, dream that you would stop pinching my cheeks. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest little thing? Oh my God. I was like, oh my God, I had to. It's very reasonable, so yeah, I thought that was cute. Um, and I keep telling my daughter, I want a grandbaby. I want a grandbaby, move it. She keeps telling me, mom, Okay, okay. Trying not to pressure her, but you know. I just need a grandchild, preferably a girl. <laughs> no, I'll be happy with whatever it is, as long as it's healthy. As long as it's healthy, that's all we care about. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, um, with the flounder. Those aren't gonna take long. Um, yeah, these aren't gonna take long. And flounder doesn't take long at all either. It really doesn't. Uh, so let's get the garlic out. I also got kiwis, guys. Just two, I felt like kiwis, so I got two for myself. Nobody else eats them anyway. So, it should be yummy. All right, guys, I'm just gonna cut up a little garlic. I'm gonna do some fresh garlic. I'm gonna do a little butter, fresh garlic, and some of the basil paste. So we, we were out today, we had to go do some errands. We had to run some errands for Bill's paperwork for the disability and all that. So we had to go up to town about 30 minutes away where Billy, where Billy works. Um, so we were up there and I, I wanted to get a couple of tomato plants itself, not the, not the seeds. Because I don't know if I, I've told you guys this before, I usually use the tomato, I usually always Use plants, but last year I did use some seeds, and the string beans came up, and it was. I'm just always afraid of seeds. I just like to see the plants. I like to see them coming up. I like to see the, the growth already. I'm very impatient, you know. So anyway, we were by a farm, uh, you know, like a like a nursery. So we stopped in there, and I got uh, like three. I got four um, four tomato plants, and I got actually I got two cherry and two regular sized tomatoes. And then I got two um, two um, parsley plants, just to just to plant some parsley. So that's what I did. So um, we did, we did that. So I'll show you later, later or tomorrow. I'll show you that. And now all we gotta do is wait, guys. Wait for everything to come up. Wait a. Wait for everything to come up, and that's the worst. That's the hardest part for me. I hate waiting. 
I'm so impatient. I just want to wake up in the morning and all my stuff to be there. But that's not going to happen. I'm going to use oil with that. He's not at all, all out of the fence, right? Huh? He's not out of the fence, right? No, that's why I'm on the track. He's at the freaking door down there. All right, so we got this garlic cut up. One second, Coop. I'm going to put this away and get Cooper in the house. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the flounder out of the packages and dry them really good. So you don't want the um, you don't want the fish to be wet. I mean, you know, you, you can have it wet, but you don't want it to be wet because then it, it won't like get a little crispy. You know, we like it a little bit crispy. All right, let's try. Let's see these asparagus. I like my asparagus a little on the firmer side. Billy likes them soft, so well, I'll take his. Um, I'll take mine out. You know first. Um, what was I doing? I was doing something else. What was it? Oh, the flounder. Hello. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, you're bringing mommy your stuffed animal. Give me that toy. Look. Look what he's doing. He's bringing mommy his toy. Come on. He's such a happy boy. He just locked himself out of the game. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Animals bring such joy, don't they, guys? And a lot of other stuff. They bring a lot of other stuff, don't they? My wife is bringing me lots of joy, too. Oh, my husband's being very nice today. Overly nice. Why? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just dripping. The thing with the frozen, um, you know, fish, you just got to take the, drain them. But I like the frozen because they come in the, in, I like the individual pieces, number one. Um, and number two, you know, um, I like the individual pieces because you can take out as much as you want and nothing gets wasted and they're in the, it's in the freezer, you know what I mean? So to me, it's, uh, it's good. And they're just as good, you know. So let's just dry this up. I'm making, I'm making, um, how many am I making? One, two, three, four, about five pieces, because they're not very big. And they're thin, you know. Flander is, is a thinner fish. So good, though. Let me see about the asparagus. Yeah, they're yeah, just they're a little firm. They're still a little firm. All right, so I'm just gonna dry these flounders off. Flounder, you gotta be very kid. You gotta be a little delicate with flounder because. Flounder is a little bit um, delicate, you know. You don't want to break them. I like flounder. Salmon is my favorite, I would say my favorite fish, fish. And then flounder. And I really, and I, I really have, haven't had many other fish except tilapia. Um, I've never had like mahi mahi or swordfish, um, which I'd like to try because I never had them before. But definitely, I would say salmon, flounder, and then my third or fourth would be tilapia. It's good. I like tilapia. It's not my favorite, but you know, it's pretty good. Um.
Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some out for right now because I'm going to take Billy's out. I'm going to saute mine with the butter and the garlic. And then I'll put Bill's back in because he likes, like I said, he likes it firm. He likes them soft. I like them firm. A little on the firmer side. So. All right, so what I'll do is I'll let these cook a little bit more. Yeah, I'll let these be his. I'll let these cook a little bit more in the water, and then I'll put mine in, in after. After I do his, I'll saute his. Um, you know what I mean? So he is, his can get a little bit softer. And then I'll saute his, and then I'll do mine at the end because I want mine to stay a little bit firmer, like I just said 40,000 times. I'm just trying to think. Bill, come in here and make sure this is enough flounder for you. Yes, honey. What? I'm always afraid there's not going to be enough, you know. You know the way I go. I am. Anyway, yeah. He's got like three pieces. I got two pieces. That's that's funny. Um. Yeah. So let's just wait for this asparagus to be done, and then we will do it. Guys, Frankie got this um, this this zester at IKEA, and I have my own, and I always use my own, but I I saw it in there because I couldn't find mine actually. This freaking thing is amazing. Oh my God, it zests so easy. Let me show you. It is so awesome. Look how easy. Mine's really good too, but this is like, really. I mean, you just kind of touch it and it comes right off. So good, your hand doesn't slip. Love it. Ikea is where it's at. Frankie's, I mean, um, Bill's asparagus should be done now. It's nice and getting nice and soft. I'm going to put a little piece of butter in there with it. And I'm going to put some garlic. this a little bit and then I'm going to start the flounder. like some of the mushe. Let's get the 
lavender going. I don't have any cooking spray. I forgot to buy it. Um, so I got to make sure this pan tends to stick. So I got to be careful that the pan doesn't stick. These pans are not as good as I thought they were. They really aren't. Very disappointing, really, to be honest. Like I said, I just want to make sure these go freaking thick. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even freaking season these with anything. already. Um, there is the pepper. Where is my pepper? Alright, I'm going to shut this off so it doesn't burn. Take it off the flame. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder. I'm not going to do onion. I'm going to do a little bit of Italian seasoning, just a little. Come on. I'm going to do lemon. Oh, I gotta put some lemon zest in here. See, Bill's not a huge, like, a lemon person. He likes it, but he doesn't, you know. He doesn't like over the lemon. over because flounder could be like I said very delicate and flounder doesn't take long to cook. Alexa, how long does flounder take to cook? Alexa, uh -huh. how long does flounder take to cook? Sorry, I'm not sure. Really Alexa? Alexa, how long does flounder take to cook? The time required to cook flounder may vary depending on the method used and the size of the fish. As a rule, flounder is baked in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. 
until it is fully cooked. However, it is important to note that cooking times may vary based on the size of the fish and the specific recipe being used. Oh, Alexa. Okay, it sticks a little bit. I think till it's like white. Mm. The smell is just crazy good right now. Crazy good. smell of the lemon and the, and the butter and the garlic. something in here. Flounder, like salmon, is not salmon is not delicate. Flounder is more delicate. It's good, but it definitely needs a little bit of salt. I won't put any on Bill's. Just mine. I'm hungry, guys. I'm not going to apologize for chewing because it's who I am. It's what I do. This is, you know, I said if she, you know, if she doesn't want to listen to the chewing if it bothers her so much, then just fast forward it. Move on to another thing. But I'm not, I'm not going to change who I am. If you don't like it, then, you know, you need to move on and and, you know, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, and I didn't block her. She asked me to please not block her. And, and I wasn't planning on blocking her. Because she wasn't, you know, she wasn't really nasty or anything. And it's her opinion. She doesn't like it. But in, this, in the other aspect, that's why I said to her, you know, if you don't like it, then you need to not watch. Because I, I can't promise that I'm not going to eat on camera. And, you know, so that's just the way it is. And, I, you know, 
I want to please my subscribers and all of that, but I also have to be myself. I have to be my my authentic self. You know what I mean? So that's all I'm saying, guys. Yeah, this friend is really like it really fall apart, fell apart. It's not very big. I don't know. Next time I think I'll bake it. I think it'll just make it easier. It'll cook better. We'll broil it. Doesn't look like very much. <clears throat> yeah, Bill just came in. I told him I had to make another piece because um, it's breaking apart. You know, it's so freaking delicate. It's you so made me broken flounder. It's so annoying. He's saying that I made him broken flounder. And you know what I told him? Kiss my Buddha. Uh, that, you didn't say it that nicely. <laughs> I feel like it needs flavor, but I'm putting lemon and shit on it. It's fine. Just need some salt on it. It's fine. Uh, really? Come on. I gotta throw my soul shaker, somebody needs it all. Flounder's obnoxious. You gotta be filling out with Mrs. Dash, mister. Oh. Mrs. Dash. No, with the Himalayan. That's what we gotta do. But we can't do that yet. I gotta get the, the other Himalayan. Honey, I don't know where it is right now. It's Honey, I'll get it. I, I, didn't ask you get I don't know. I didn't ask you. Guys, I'm not going to use the basil. I, I, I didn't put the basil in. I forgot, so. Kind of misheveled. I don't see it right now. I'm just going to take the other one. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in that one? A little bit. Mine. Mine. Actually, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to add a little bit of... This is a trick. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. Uh, and then I'll, ask some, I'll add some basil. And I'll make it into like a sauce. I don't really want to do it with the bait with it. Flounder in here. Having, um, we're only having asparagus at this, and mm -hmm. um, there's really not that much asparagus. All right, so this is what I'm going to do because I don't want to add any more butter. Out of here. Cool. 
Where's my London board? Where's my You gotta get new ones. Okay. Have you Alright, you had to have it up somewhere. Well, I can't drain the drain. No way. You can, you can get it. I need to get up here. Okay, get up there. Alright, guys, so I'm just gonna let this simmer a minute, then I'm gonna pour this over the flounder, okay? This flam is ridiculous. I'm really, really disappointed. Why? Because it just like broke apart and it like it's hardly anything. That'd be the frozen. Alright guys, we're gonna get our plates. Alright people, so here is my food. We got flounder and asparagus. A little bit of lemon. This is what's for dinner tonight, guys. I'll be back in a minute. Guys, listen, okay. I, 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 how much can one person handle? How much can one person <coughs> handle? Do you want to know what my husband just did? Do you want to know what I just had to do? Do you want to know? <sighs> this is this is the scenario. My husband. Got the same exact pill bottle, pill container as Cooper has, but his container is newer because Cooper's is older. And you can, clear, you can clearly thought. tell the difference, okay? I'm in here in the living room. We just cleaned up, going to clean up the kitchen. I came in here to get my video situated or whatever, and I'm sitting in here and he goes, holy shit, I just took Cooper's pills. And I literally didn't even think I didn't even, like, comprehend what he said because I really thought he was kidding. Like, I was, I said, are you kidding? Like, he came in and I said, are you serious? Waiting, waiting for him to say, no, I'm kidding. Of course I didn't. Guys, he took them. He took the whole dose, dose of Cooper's medicine anti-seizure medicine, phenobarbital, five different medications. Thank God he didn't take the big, the big, big fat one. There's only three of the medications, but two of each. Two of each, guys, okay? Well, no, of three. Of three of the other. Huh? You had three and five. You had five pills. Yeah. immediately panic my son immediately panics because he's on heart he has these heart issues he's on heart medicine I don't know if this is gonna affect coincide with this medicine with that medicine with his heart I am shitting in my pants and I'm so sorry for cursing I'm very sorry but I am stressed to the hilt right now I get on the phone my uh, son's like call poison control we call poison control in the meantime I said to Billy get in the bathroom and puke those freaking you tell me no. well I said puke go in there and he went in there and he discussed and we don't know TMI. And he, I went in there to look and I saw some pills in the in the toilet. And the and the, the poison control man said that even if he even if some of them melted a little bit, he don't he doesn't think it's anything to worry about, just to keep an eye and to see if he has any symptoms or anything like that. But he thinks that he'll be fine. But Billy insists that he got all the pills up. I don't fuck freaking know. If you got all the pills up. Um, symptoms like a lot. Howling at the moon. What symptoms am I supposed to worry about? Should I call his doctor? What do I do? What? What do I do? I can't I can't handle one more thing like this. This is Why? You're already talking This is too stressful. Control. This is just too just too much. It's too much, guys. I don't even know what to say. You're already talking I'm totally control. stressed out. I hope that it's okay. I don't know if it's a, if if that if any of that medicine got in his system, it's going to coincide with the other medicine. Do I should I call the freaking doctor? I don't know whether to laugh hysterically, laugh on the floor with a, with a belly freaking ache, or 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 
knock myself out. something that I don't have and I gotta watch him like a hawk now because I gotta oh, make fine. sure I... yes they're his pills are you sure you are you sure you're not giving Cooper's his hit your your pills he shared with me I have to share with him mark the bottle and put them in separate places now I okay. have to clean the drawer out tomorrow mark the bottle and put them in it separate has places. Do with the bottle. how do I trust container. him how do I know this is Cooper's medicine I just took him out. I can't, guys. I think it's funny. I have a headache. Okay. All right. I, I'm sorry to bring you all into this, guys. I just couldn't. I just could not not come on here, and 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 and, and say what I have. To <laughs> Guys. I got this. <laughs> Come over here and do that. Come over. What are you he's doing? I got an itch. Oh, wait a minute. Rub my belly. <laughs> the thing is, is those, those medicines are for people, too. They're for humans, too. They are. But what worries me is that the medicines that he's on for his heart and his heart issues, I'm scared about how that's going to be react. Maybe we should call the pharmacy. Call the pharmacy. Call the pharmacy. You call the pharmacy. All right, guys, I'm going to go because I got to figure out what to do. I got. I don't even know what I'm going to do tonight. Now I'm, I'm stressed. You already answered your question. I'm so stressed out. I, I don't know who to trust. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. If anything else happens, I'll come back on. I don't know, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribers button. Hit the notification button with the bell. Everything you do, everything you want to do. Um, uh, um, like and share, and just uh, and, and and go crazy, cause like I'm going crazy. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for coming into my crazy house and sharing this whole craziness with us.